Hey everybody, Troll HDPC here, and today we're going to look at speed mapping and ultra fast texturing. And here's what it's all about without further ado. Um, I've already textured two of the colors here, but I figured I should do a real quick tutorial here on just how this happened because I'm sure you guys are going to use this. Everybody needs this, especially if you want to be fast about it. So here's all you need to know. Come on up here to the top to your uh, actual palette. Okay, and once that's been selected, you're going to check Use Brush Constraints. And now you have to know what altitudes you would like to automatically texture once you float over it. So you're now going to say minimum altitude. I know the map is set up at 50 before you hit it with all kinds of undulations from up here in the uh, noise. I definitely hit that pretty heavy over this whole entire map. So now it changed my minimum altitude. So it's going to take a little bit of finessing to get it perfect. I have no idea how tall these mountains are. That's okay. For later, we'll need to know, though, because we need to know what altitude we want the, the snow to start at. But that's okay. These are little things and little tweaks that are so cool to mess with to get the look just right. It's awesome. And it's going to save you guys so many hours, it'll blow your mind. Let's get started. So all you really need to do to do the bottom base here is start out with what you think the altitude is going to be. I got to guess that the starting altitude is still going to be about 50 feet, so I'm going to start there. The maximum altitude, I really don't know. I Just before I set up this video, I thought I'd start at 60. I haven't tried it yet. I should be really close. You can use altitude fu fuzziness, but be careful with it. It'll really hose things up for you in a hurry. I'll show you how to use that a little bit later. Uh, minimum maximum slope you can leave for now. So let's pretend we're going to put some grass in right now, guys. So we're going to go to add, or tell you what, let's cancel that and let's do a uh, a change. So we're going to change the actual default of this grid pattern to something else. So we'll just come down here and pick a grass, whatever whatever you would like. Just pick something. And uh, oh, that's interesting. How do I get auto fill? Typically, that's not going to happen for you. <laughs> But uh, what you're going to want to do is do your minimums and maximums. Come up here and select a texture painter size, your brush. And let's go over it and see what we're going to get out of this. So we're half close. You can see in the middle of the um, island, if you will. I need to come up a little bit. And that's okay. Come right over here. And instead of uh, 60... Let's select 65 feet. And let's put a hair more fuzziness in here. Be very careful with this, guys. You won't get the... If you don't get what you want, just go back to Control z That's much better. I'll buy that. That is just such a time saver when you can go over the whole entire map at one time. I mean, how cool is that? Now, sure, I already did this down here with the sand the same way I started at 40 feet and told it a maximum of 50. But you can see we got bleed going around. We have some ugly edges here. The time that was saved doing an entire map this way, though, you, you can still afford the time really easily to just go back in here with a real small brush choose something ultra small make your hardness all the way up and you can do what you like on the distortion I like the speed all the way up and select let's say your sand for instance here and come along and give yourself a, a mouse that's gonna or a, a brush that's gonna do it for you and come along here and just change this along the edge now if you don't like the way that ends up oh by the way turn off your brush constraints now if you don't like the way that ends up coming from this side and maybe you're wrapping around the top or something you just don't like. It's okay to do the other way too. Go, coming from on top here and, you know, wrap around so that you make a different layer. Just so that you get rid of the zigzaggies. But I would think it's going to be easy to, easier to do sand from this face. Okay. So next let's go up and let's, let's do the, the final finish, if you will, on a mountain. Let's tell it we want some snow. So we already have this selected. We need to add some snow. Come on back here and grab a texture that looks something snow-like. 
Now we gotta change our minimum, maximum altitudes again. So let's guesstimate uh, 100. Uh, <laughs> choose brush constraints and everything will light up here. Choose 100. I'm gonna guess 100 feet. And we're gonna say a maximum of 200 because I don't think they're that high. Altitude fuzziness, you definitely want to have this jacked up a little bit so that'll give you a, a variance of how the snow is laid. Minimum maximum slope angles you can leave as is, but play with those and see what you think. Let me know down in the comments how you like uh, the different ways that you can play with all this. It's insane. But now let's, let's see how fast you can paint up an entire map. Alright, so select that snow. Get yourself that radius huge. I like to have the hardness all the way up. And boom. That's how fast you can put snow on an entire map and all your mountains at once. Alright. Now if you would have had this like that and dolly out as far as you can. You can just zip right around the outside and your whole map is completely done. And now like I say, go back in and real quickly just select your little areas that you want to fix and you're set and ready to start adding bad guys and getting some lead flying through the air. Now let's zip in here and actually see what that looks like from the periphery. Okay, let's get a person in here so we can kind of get the scale going. And that's how fast you can make a map and texture it without the Boku hours of changes. But come around the outside here too, guys, and do the same thing on the inside. Do it. Give yourself a little variance in here. You can try a little bit of map fuzziness to see if the grass looks a little better. But chances are you're going to still need to get rid of a little bit of the zigzags. So what I would do is just go in here and just right away do a real quick airbrush all the way around, and you're done. Well, that's it for now, guys. If you liked the video, consider the like and subscribe buttons, and let me know what you're interested in next. I'm Troll HDPC. Until next time.